everybody. I'm Danielle with Inspire Me to DIY. And today I'm going to show you how to make the cutest little coasters using a tray from the bottom of a flower pot. These are only 97 cents. They're, they're under a dollar. So I got six of them and I'm going to paint them. I'm kind of a purist, so I'm going to paint them white. But they, if you paint them any color, it would still be beautiful. What I'm going to use today is my Apple Barrel gloss paint. I tried to figure out how to flip the screen around so you guys aren't reading backwards, but I wasn't able to do it. So it's a learning curve and I will get there. So I'm, I'm using white because like I say, I'm a purist. You're also going to need your Mod, Mod Podge. This is from Plaid and um, a couple of foam brushes, one for one for each. Don't mix them up like I did the one video. I don't know if you guys saw that. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and some beautiful scrapbook paper. This is what I chose. Oops, see if I can get them all in there. I like the summery Florida looking thing. This little pineapples. I got flowers. And I think this one's got palm palm leaves on them. So I picked three colors or three papers designs that would kind of go together and wouldn't clash. Now, if you painted your trays like a turquoise or a pink, hot pink, that would be beautiful with these. But I didn't think ahead on that. I was just going for the white. Hi, Pat. Hi, Christy. Hi, Betty. How you guys doing? I'm going to, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm going to try to you know, I'm in that stage in my life where I don't need glasses far away, but up close. So I'm, I'm getting there. I am going, to, I, I'm doing coasters today. I don't know if you saw from the beginning. Um, what I did is I got these cute little trays, 97 cent trays, and I painted mine white. See, I have most of them painted. This one, these kind of need a second coat. So I'm going to paint this one first with my white paint. You're also going to need a tape measure to measure the inside circle so you know um, how big to cut your your paper. I cut my first circle out of cardstock and then put it on the back of my paper, traced around and cut those. I was hoping to be really, um, to wow all you guys with my compass skills, you know, the, the dirt to draw a circle. But I don't have a compass, so I couldn't wow ya. So, so maybe next time. So let me paint this. Hey, Sherry, Bridget. Hey, Bridget, how's it going? Alrighty, so I'm going to paint the outside. And you cannot paint these without getting it everywhere. So you're going to see that I'm going to get it everywhere. I use... Um, newspaper for my table but I think in this case if you would use a plastic table cover it probably would work better because you won't get the newsprint all over your your tray as the paint dries so paint all around tell mom I said hi right back <laughs> I love it all right so what else did I did I forget? Tape measure, table cover, scissors. Oh, coffee. Most important, you need coffee. If you're if you're like me, coffee is like the most important thing in most of my projects. So All right. So I've got this painted all the way around. All right. And I'm going to just Set it here on my newspaper. Kind of do around the edges after I set it down. And it will take two to three coats to cover it nice. I'm using, um, this is an outdoor gloss because I'm going to use my coasters outside on my lanai. They're cute in the house, outside of the house. It, I don't think it really matters, but since I'm putting, I'll be putting wet glasses on this or my glasses will be sweating. You know how your drink sweats in the summer? It's best to do, um, oh, I don't know, like a waterproof or water resistant. 
Now when I'm all finished with these, I'm gonna coat them, not in the house because it's a real toxic spray, but I'm gonna coat them with, um, it's a Rust-Oleum product. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm using the matte. I think they also have a gloss. But two coats of this and you're golden after you get everything done. Okay, so let's, let's paint a few more of these. Let's see, that one's already wet. I painted some up ahead so you could um, see how they were gonna look. But since, since I have all this, this time, let's just paint some. Now, I have a real exciting thing. We're going, or I'm going to be giving away a um, picture frame that I made with, um, with the, those paper napkins. I don't know if you saw the, the video a couple weeks ago. Let me see if I can get it. Ugh. I'm gonna give away this picture frame. It's made out of a wooden picture frame that I got at Hobby Lobby and then the um, napkins, let's see if I, here they are. Napkins I got on Amazon and I did a whole tutorial on how to do flower pots with these and I did the same thing with this picture frame. So to win this picture frame, what you need to do is you need to tag a friend in the comments and also give me a comment as to where you would put this in your house. I'm really interested to see or to hear where you would want to display this. Now also, if you don't want this in your home and you want to give it away as an Easter present, hey, t tell me about that too. Just don't tell me who you're going to give it to in case they're, they're on here. So you, you don't want to give the secret away. But the napkin um, decoupage is just such an easy project and I think this turned out absolutely beautiful. So if you want to win this, Tag a friend in the comments and also tell me where you would put this in your house or who you'd give this to. I've also done similar projects on little paper mache eggs. So I don't know if you can see that up close. There it is. I've got like a little beehive and some violets. I got all the paint all over my hands. So I have been really having fun with this one package of napkins. So, all right, wrong paintbrush. Did you guys see that? All right, so I've got my, my trays mostly painted. All right, let's see, where's that one that I just did? Here it is, oh, didn't stick. All right, now I, I've got this little plate to pour my paint in, but for some reason, I guess I just wanna do it this way. The less dishes to dirty. The nice thing about this paint is if you pour it into one of your ceramic plates, which this one's an antique and one of my favorites, it just washes right off. So you're not, you're not ruining anything. All right, so now that I have this painted, I'm gonna set it down right there. Ta-da, I, I really get into my work. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take one that it's already dry that I, I did a couple hours ago to get ready. Excuse me, and I'm gonna take some of my paper and draw. Okay, first of all, let me tell you how scientific I got with trying to figure out how big this circle was. First, I, I measured it, which I thought, oh, I'm just doing so good. So I measured it. it. It is around three inches. I don't know if you can see that right there, but the bottom of the saucer is about three inches. So then I went around my house looking for something that was a circle that was three inches. And I found one of my drinking glasses. Went across the top, three inches exact. So that was my very techy way of measuring for my circle. <laughs> so I did it on cardstock and I cut it out. So this is now my template to cut out the rest of my papers. I already cut out two of my designs, but I haven't cut out the third one yet. So I'll do that one now. 
If you see, I drew the, the circles on the back. Just kind of did it right over the price. You can see the price of this was only 69, 69, 69 cents. Perfect. And you can get quite a few circles out of this paper if you want to do all of your coasters out of the same paper, have them all match. I, I picked three different because I really like how they go together. But I think if I was to do this again, I would paint my coasters, maybe a turquoise or a hot pink or something that goes with an earth. Oh, paint each one a different color, maybe one a yellow. Just all the different colors in there. I think that would be so beautiful. And springy. Today is the first day of spring. Yay! Which usually means it's going to snow in Ohio, where I'm from. Or it means it's going to rain here, which it's looking like it might. That's okay. Spring is spring. I don't know about you, but I love how... Everything just seems new in the spring. It's like you can start over, you get a you get a fresh take on things. And even though you the same person as you were yesterday, you're still new. It just it just feels new. I don't know. Maybe it's just my take on spring, but I love the fact that flowers are popping up and everything looks looks pretty again. Okay, so here's my two circles from this color, and I have six trays, so I put, I got two, two of each, let's see, so you can see two of each, that's probably be kind of busy, those are my, my three patterns, I really like that, I love the pink in that one, what do you guys think, and the, oh, there's blue in there too, maybe I could do a blue one. All right, so this is where your Mod Podge comes in. Make sure your tray is dry, okay, not, not sticky or anything. This one's a good one. And I'm going to get my Mod Podge out. And use a different brush. Don't use your paintbrush. For some reason, I am wanting to do that more and more, just mixing up my brushes, and then I get a mess. So what you're going to do is you're just going to Mod Podge the bottom, maybe. There we go. And Mod Podge is a mixture of glue and water, but it also has other things in it. I used to use just glue and water and thought I was doing the whole Mod Podge thing, but then found out that my, um, my project would crack or it would start to peel and not good it never turned out like it does with mod podge hi brenda hi sue oh my gosh how are you guys doing okay once you get this glued on did you see that drop just go flying luckily it was on the base of this one once you get this glued on then you're going to go over the top of it and this is kind of important that you glue all your edges all the way around Okay, so you make sure that you seal it. Now the spray sealer is going to help out quite a bit. But you also want to make sure that it's glued down. Oh, what do you think? I oh, I love that. Hey, Betty, this would look really good on your um, dining room set because you have all those different flowers in there. I, I like this. A while back, my friend Betty wanted her seat covers, the covers, uh, the seat in the back covers, uh, cushions recovered. I'll get it out. And um, she had this really cute fabric, and it's definitely a Florida thing. It's the little rattan set, and the chairs are on wheels, and it's really cute. Well, she wanted one of those covered, and she happened to be in luck because I know how to do that. So I helped her recover those, and I think they're on the blog somewhere, that um, I put the before and after set, and they turned out so cute. So um, if you wanna see how that ha how that worked, go to inspiremediy.com, inspireme2, the number two, diy.com. And on the blog, you'll be able to see 
the before and after of that project. Okay, what do you think of that one? I love it. All right, and then I'm gonna do my third one. This one's dry. In my other print, let's see. Now this little bottle of Mod Podge I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I have done every project so far with this one little bottle. You think that it wasn't a good deal to buy that for a dollar, but it has gone a long way. Hi, MJ, how's it going? All right, so I'll pour a little bit more on top. And of course, I'm not gonna do the sealer, the spray sealer in, in the house, cause that would not be a good thing. Okay, Let's see if I got this. Put this off to the side. Oop. That one's got a little. There we go. What do you think? Let's see if I can get all three of them. Oh, are those cute? Those will be really good. I'm going to have them outside on my lanai. I have a fire pit out there. So. You'll be able to sit with your with your drinks in the cutest little 97 cent tray with 69 cent paper how good is that bring them on camera let's see whoa how's there's that one what do you think and then this one's more florida looking with the palm and then let's see and then i have matching colors but different pattern with my flowers I really think next time I'm going to do them in turquoise because I think that would be so cute. Okay, so let's talk about the giveaway. This is my very first giveaway and I'm super excited about it. It's this cute little picture frame. It came from Hobby Lobby. It's just a little wooden frame. You get the family with it. What do you think? Yay. And I covered them in little napkins that I bought. Um, let's see, do I have this right side up? This right. I bought at on Amazon. But I love the spring flowers. I think they're beautiful. They got a little butterfly on there. It's from the Michelle Company, M I C H E L. So I think it's Michelle. It's French. But they their company has the cutest. Uh, floral, bees, spring, all that stuff. So this is what I'm giving away. And all you have to do is in the comment, tag a friend and also um, tell me where you would put this in your home or that maybe you plan on giving it as an Easter present, but don't tell me who you're giving it to because they might be on here and it would spoil the surprise. Um, if you didn't get to see this video live, and you're on replay, that's okay. Still do the same thing, tag a friend, tell me where you put this in your home. And on, I got it written down, on the 26th, next Friday at midnight, I'll, I'll end all and draw somebody. And then next Saturday on my next live, I will announce who won. So, and I will also DM you and ask for your address so I can send it to you, all right? Well, thank you everybody for watching today. I really enjoyed this. I, I did want to talk to you a little bit about last week and my, my youngest was down and we had such a good time. She came with her boyfriend. And when your 30 something daughter asks you to get a matching tattoo, you say, yes, yes, definitely. So right now it's covered up because it's a brand new tattoo, but it's a cute little honeybee. Her name is Melissa, which means honeybee. So it was her choice and mama got a tattoo. Woohoo! So next week you'll be able to see that and um, I'll have a whole brand new project that I'm still, I'm pretty excited about, but I wanna keep it a secret up until now or till next week. And I hope everybody has a great week and if you make these, please send me a picture. I would love, love to see it. Thank you so much. Bye.